Welcome to a conversation with Dr. Mohammed Chati Basri, Special Advisor to Indonesia's Finance Minister. Dr. Basri, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Why is it important to focus on rural Asia? Well, if you look at you know, the future of the world economy, there are three things will become very important. Which is the issue of this, you know, food, energy, and water. And if you're talking about food and energy, then like it or not, we have to focus on the, you know, the rural economy because all the potential is still there. And, and I think um, one of the important issues in the last couple of years, we are entering the era whereas this you know, increasing of commodity prices is moved in the similar trend to the energy prices. So the role of this agriculture and the rural economy will become very important. It's really a big potential for the future. What can the agricultural sector do to increase productivity? Um, there are several things. Let me talk from the Indonesian perspective. Yeah. Um, Indonesia has been suffering with the issue with this low productivity. And I think one of the important action that government and also private sector could you know, collaborate is improvement in the R&D, finding the new seed, for example, and also diversification of the product. Because most of the country in Asia just focus on the staple foods just for to ensure the food security. But maybe they have to think now to move into diversify their product to horticulture like vegetables, fruits, etc. is more on the high value commodities. And by doing this, then they can increase the productivity. Because the problem in agriculture sector, not only in Indonesia and also many countries, is because too many labor. So that's the reason. So we have to release the labor uh, to move into the manufacturing sector by introducing this R&D. And is most of the farming subsistence farming still, or is it, is it moving more into the agribusiness? It's moving more into agribusiness, but I will say that it's still very traditional. And that's why the other thing that's also important is the support for infrastructure, where there's market access and also irrigation. What is happening now in Indonesia regarding lifting up the rural poor? Well, um, you know, the government has been allocated budget as quite a lot. For 2001, uh, we allocated about 1.1 billion US dollar and increased to 5.3 billion US dollar in, in seven years. But unfortunately, um, there was, you know, misallocation in that process because it went to subsidy on fertilizer, which is not very good for environment, it's not really support. If this is the thing that the government is preparing to free up these subsidies, then you know relocate this uh, subsidy into uh, like the irrigation infrastructure to support you know agriculture and also R and D. So by doing this, we can we can improve the productivity. And do you see the the past ten years, which you just discussed? Do you see the trend continuing over the next ten years, or or is it going to be ramping up even more so? I think its trend is continue because like last year we had um, um, growth for agriculture about four point one percent, and I think it's quite good. And if you look at the the high commodity prices now, it's more incentive people to move up. But we have to integrate this agriculture with the manufacturing sector as well. So then we are talking about this agribusiness. And I think that's one of the important sectors in Indonesia now. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. It's my Master. pleasure.